Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This time I am on Fishing Planet. As you probably know, I do my trophy log series on RF4, so I thought why not do the same here. I have a list of fish I need to catch on every single map before I can move on to the next one. You can watch my adventures in the game and join along if you want to. So to start off, I am going to travel to Lone Star Lake. Also, this series is fully free to play, no MTX, no microtransactions at all. So the first challenge we want to complete is the Lone Star Exploration 1, and why we want to do that is to get this nice nighttime float and some easy cash. I actually played Fishing Planet a bit on my other account just so I could see if I want to make YouTube series about this game and I know some of the things in the game right now how to do them on the first map but all the other maps I have no clue how to complete them so this is going to be a wild ride. Let's go to Lone Star Lake and drop in our bait. Hey you, like the video. When going to the lake we get 100 coins. Awesome. Easy money. Ah, oh, ads. I hate ads in games. So first of all we need to complete the Lone Star Exploration 1 which means we have to catch the list of fish listed on the left side of the screen. So once we do those, I think there is also a Lone Star Exploration 2 maybe, which we can complete. So for the first challenge, I will use depth 45 or 50. I think I'll go 50 or maybe 45. I'll try 45 for now. Red worms and hook 8. So pretty much to catch any of these panfish and so on, you just want to go somewhere nearby the edge where it's not too deep. It's mostly shallow and just cast in at like depth 50 or 45 and you will most likely catch all of these fish. This drink is for you, my Patreon viewers. So I will use this spot. If you want, you can follow along. This is just on the bridge on the right side. And let's see if we will catch all the species from one spot or do we have to move somewhere else? Oh, we have a bite. This is our first fish of the series. This is an epic moment. Yep, it hit. What kind of a fish this is? This is a bluegill. Awesome. And a trophy. Our first ever fish on the account is a trophy bluegill. I guess we have good karma from RF4. We are starting with a trophy. This is amazing. Unfortunately, we cannot keep it because to keep it you need to have the advanced license which we do not have let's take a nice photo of the fish and us just for a memory first fish a trophy Ooh, we can actually still keep it but maybe get a fine let's gamble come on oh we have been fined 100 bucks remember kids and adults gambling is bad let's cast in and catch another fish hopefully a new species as well and this is definitely not a fish this is some weeds i don't know why would anyone want to keep that but hey we completed a challenge and got one premium currency we will be hoarding onto those premium currencies I will try to not spend any of that if possible and spend it later on in the game. Probably then you need it. Here we go. Another fish is biting. Come on, just take the bait. Just run with it. Oh, yep, we have it on. New species, I think. Yeah, a golden china, our second species. And this is exactly what we needed. Now we need four more species to finish off this challenge. By the way, if you fish at this spot, do not cast close to the lily pads because your tackle will get stuck. But this is a new species, white crappy. Three fish, three new species and three of the species we actually needed. Awesome. Let's see if this trend will continue. Come on, my float is wilding right now. Hopefully it's a nice fish. Oh, we have a fish on. This is definitely the biggest fish I've caught so far. Oh yeah, another trophy. Trophy white crappy. I guess trophies are pretty common in this game, but this is awesome. 100 coins as well. That's some good money. We will keep this fish. Our keep net is almost full because of it, but it's definitely worth it. And we also hit level 3. We got 1,500 coins and all of these unlocks. That is awesome, but enough with the trophies. Give me a unique fish now. Oh, nothing too big as I see, but maybe a new species? Yes, it is. It is a red ear sunfish. So we need now the green sunfish and black tail shiner. Awesome. It actually seems like this spot is working wonders. So I have to mention that the time of the day right now is at peak. So if you're new to the game, you can press T, I think it was, to switch your time and skip the time to the peak time of fishing. And another trophy once again. I just can't get past the trophies, I guess. I just need regular fish. Come on, game. With this fish, my keep net is full and I think we also got a new level. Yeah, level 4. 1,500 coins once again, a new water body, and some new items. But since our keep net is full, I'm gonna leave the map and cash in all the fish. So as you can see now, my keep net is empty, and I got some money. I can go back to the lake now with an empty keep net and make some extra cash. But before we go back, I'm gonna get a new keep net, because we unlocked a new keep net with level 4, and this one actually can hold 7 kilos worth of fish. So this is definitely worth to buy. To have your new keep net with you, you need to go to your inventory, track the old one out and track the new one in. Also use your home page to track the old one in and sell the old keep net. I mean it's 20 coins. It's almost nothing but still a little bit of cash is better than nothing. Also just to let you know right now as you can see I cannot aim with the right click in the game. If you press F11 then it will go into this mode and you can actually aim with the right click on your mouse. One more tip for you guys. If you're new to the game do not leave the map every time you want to sell your fish. Just press T and skip to the next day because otherwise if you leave the map you have to pay the travel fee 
every single time and you will go bankrupt. Ooh, another fish. Okay, white crappie again. I'm trying this new spot right here just for fun. And let's see if we can actually get the green sunfish and black tail shiner from here. For a second, I thought I had my green sunfish, but this is a red ear sunfish. Once again, it's so hard to make difference of these fish while they're just flying in the air. Try number 512. Let's see. Ooh, this is new. Awesome. This is the black tail shiner. This is something we actually needed. Now, all we need is just a sunfish to finish off this exploration task. And I've done it. I caught the green sunfish from this spot where I also caught the black tail shiner. So this means we have completed the challenge. I will keep this fish and accept the money from the challenge. 1,000 coins, one premium currency and this nighttime float. This is awesome. Now let's check what is the next task. So the next task is to catch a crash pickerel, smallmouth buffalo and also a bass. So this means we need to go and buy some new gear. If you want to have the best prices and see all the tackle in the shop, you have to leave the map and then open up the shop. So let's do that very quickly. As you can see, our shop has way more things now after we left the map. So I will buy some pet food for the catfish. And now we also need a new rod so we can actually go and catch a picaro and also a bass. But I will get those after we get the catfish. I will try, I think, from this deeper area. It's very close to the shore and I can cast out there very easily. So let's try over there. Also, we need to buy some new hooks. I totally forgot we need bigger hooks, like size 2, I think, will be fine. So we got the new hooks. Let's equip them. And this is how the setup will look like. And I bet we can get a catfish out on this setup. All right, we actually have a bite. I think this is a catfish as well. But we will see once it will take the bait and try to run with it because it will be the strongest fish we've caught so far. Oh yeah, definitely a catfish. You can just hear the line on the tension. I right, zoom in around. This is so awesome to see because so far all the other fish I've caught have just come to the net so easily. But this is actually putting up a fight. This is awesome. It is not the biggest catfish. So I have it in the inventory in a second, I think. Let's wait. Oh yeah, already have it. Awesome. And this is a young channel catfish. Exactly what we needed for the challenge. Since we are at the shop right now, let's also buy this hobby gear rod holder. This will allow us to have two rods at any given time in our inventory at the same time, because otherwise we will have to switch between our float rod and the spinner rod, which we do not want to do. So for the spin rod, we will get this value spin 190, not the one that we unlocked at level four, because this one is worth more bang for your buck. For the reel, we want to have this reel that is unlocked at level five, the windcast 1500. So let's go and get some EXP and buy this reel. Thankfully, getting to level five is fairly easy. We only need a few fish. Oh, and this is actually a decorated white crappie. This is like a special fish. Awesome. I am not gambling again. Still not taking my chance. Red ear sunfish. We actually completed another challenge, which was to catch all fish species of trophy form in Lone Star Lake. Another catch, another trophy, and also level five. This means we can go and buy ourselves the reel that we need and also get some line and our first lure. Since this is the only line I can buy, I will get this line. I mean, the only problem with this is that there is not much line on the school but it is fine also we will get this casting spoon nine grammar this is the best casting spoon you can have at this level it will work on this water body and also on the next one now let's also get this wind cast 1500 reel and we are ready to go to catch some picaro and a buffalo also don't forget the bass let's equip our spin rod this new value spin 190 that we just bought awesome to see that we now have two rods instead of one and i will cast nearby the lily pads i don't know if in the middle or to the edge and see if i can actually catch something so this is just experimenting i'm just trying everything and anything really to be fair catching these fish is not hard at all and as you can see we already have our first fish on this is most likely a bass because it is running very very nicely and also bass like to jump a lot at least on this lone star like i haven't tried on other water bodies but this is definitely a bass what a nice fight almost like fighting the catfish we had before but a bit easier i would say even though i could put my drag up by one more i'm not gonna do it just to be safe and not break our gear here we go this is our first bass and we have to actually let it go because we don't have the license and no gambling i will try that spot right now I, I got the last fish from the mid so i'm gonna try the left side now and another bass from the left side so no grass pickerel maybe we need to try another spot for the pickerel this seems like bass land over here we actually caught a white crappie on the lure that is pretty odd and we have another white crappie on the hook from the other side of the bridge well pretty decent exp though 12 exp at this point is pretty okay let's try again we have hooked into another bass and this one might be a new PR. We will see in a second if this is a new PR or not. Oh yeah, new personal record, 724 grams. Awesome fish, but still no pickerel. RNG gods are on our side. We caught the grass pickerel. I actually caught it from this side of the bridge on the right side. So yeah, I used the stop and go method. I did not use straight retrieval. So stop and go is, as you know, just you reel a bit, you stop the lure and so on. And this is the best.
best method to catch fish. Now we need to go and catch the buffalo and the buffalo lives in the deep spots also just like the catfish so I think we will go and try that spot first. I'm also getting myself a new float rod this Omni Float 350. I will use this to catch the buffalo because the current rod that I have is not very good and I can also use my Windcast 1500 reel with the rod which means I don't have to buy the second reel. This will be my setup. I will try to fish it with dough balls but I'm not sure if it's any good but let's test it out. I will use tipped 100 as well. We have our first fish. Is this a buffalo? Oh this is not a buffalo or maybe it is actually. At first I thought maybe it's just as tiny crappy because it did not fight at all. But yeah it's still not fighting almost at all. This is definitely not the buffalo but it is a trophy white crappy. I've got so many of these already. They are so good EXP. Now let's actually move to the deepest part of the lake and try over there for the buffalo because they are known to be in the deep parts and this part seems to give me crappy and catfish. Now let's try depth 150 centimeters over here and yeah you can see the marker this is where I'm aiming at. If I catch the fish I will show you where did I catch the fish from so you can use your own marker as well. Well this is definitely not the right fish this is a shiner. I'm not sure if I should fish even deeper maybe at max depth but I will give it a few more shots and then maybe switch the depth or switch the spot. I skipped to the night time because I thought maybe this will help but no still catching just crappy and nothing else no buffalo. Buffalo is the last species we need on this lake so I really want to get it done and then in the next episode we can go to a new water body and another one but the good thing is we got to level 6 which means 1500 extra coins. Another trophy white crappy and this is actually a BB as well almost 700 grams this is a huge one. Another challenge completed and another ad skipped. I guess I found the trophy white crappy spot if you want to try this out and just keep catching these on dough balls so now you know where to come to. I swear this is another white crappy trophy it is. I just keep catching these one after another and ESP is good I am not complaining. All right this is definitely not a white crappy this is either a catfish or the buffalo we are after. Hopefully it is the small mod buffalo this would be amazing and we would actually end the video with a bang because then we have completed all species on Lone Star Lake. This fish is actually pulling pretty hard. I like the sound that the reel makes it sounds awesome. It doesn't sound like real life but it's like enhanced but I really like it. The fish is finally slowly slowly giving up it's at 40 meters now yeah 12 it is tired it will be in my keep net in a second 10 meters to go 11 10 again come on fish just come up here oh yeah I have it now this is a small mount buffalo for sure it is awesome almost 1.5 kilos this is my biggest fish so far I think awesome we have now completed every single species on Lone Star Lake all the trophies included this means we have completed two more challenges one for completing all species and also for completing the Lone Star Exploration 2 and another ad I will show you the marker where I actually caught the fish from so I caught the buffalo from over there on this mark so you can put your mark down there as well and do exactly what I did quick look at my profile this is how my profile looks after catching every single fish species and all the trophies needed on Lone Star Lake as you can see we have the screen tick behind fish species this means we have caught every single one of them as you can see we have ticked all of them off I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did you also might like this video take care bye bye